Good morning. So it's been raining pretty much all day, nonstop. Pretty awesome. But I haven't really felt like going out and getting soaked to go get pictures, even though I love taking pictures in the rain. Just haven't felt like it this morning. What I have been doing is working on a Kickstarter, but it's actually, I've been working on this Kickstarter for a very long time. It's for a robot that I built, actually, this guy. It's called the Pity Bot, and uh, yeah, I've been meaning to do a Kickstarter for a super long time. It's a little bouncing robot. So, since it's rainy, maybe I'll just do a little story on this guy. So, let me tell you about him. So in my last year of undergrad, I really got into electronics and robotics and things like that. And I started making these projects and posting them online on like an electronics blog kind of thing. Everyone wants to make a balancing robot of some type, but I didn't have all the components I needed at the time to make one the way I wanted to, so I made this. Now that robot's long been disassembled, it was just made out of scrap parts I had lying around, a microcontroller, but it was unique because it used an IR sensor, and it was one of the first small projects that I did that ended up getting a lot of popularity, and um, that just showed me that it was kind of cool to make these things and put them online for people to see. So let me show you how that specific one worked. was the robot standing upright and these are the wheels then it had a sensor coming out here an infrared sensor that would detect how close to the ground it was so all I did so there's a little motor in here and l with a little switch if it was too close then it would tell the motors to spin this way if it came this way What's the IR sensor? If it started going this way and it got further away from here, then you would make the motor spin, whoops, this way. And that's all it took to get that little thing bouncing in the video I just showed you. So that was like, still pretty close to one of my most viewed videos on my other channel, the Idle Hands Dev channel. Um, and there was a comment on there saying that it would be a really cool project for kids to learn about PID control. But this didn't implement PID control. This was a simple on or off, one direction or the other. So it would only work on perfectly level surfaces. It was really simple. And it would only work if it was tuned properly to that surface. So if the surfaces were different colors, anything like that, you'd have issues. But that's when I started thinking about the whole idea of teaching PID control. Hmm. When I saw that comment, I had the idea to make a small robot that would teach about control theory. It just made sense. So I came up with this. This is the very first, the actual first working pity bot ever. It's kind of hobbled together with different components a really terrible circuit board because I think it was one of the first circuit boards I ever made as well but it works since that first design I've gone through several different iterations until I came up with something that was good enough people could download and build their own because the whole idea is to keep the project open source so that you know anyone could build it just gather the parts, take my design, and 3D print the body, and build it. That's what I liked about the whole thing. 
So since I was working on this while I was in school, I was using some of the resources available to me, like the 3D printers and things like that. And a professor noticed the project and thought it would be excellent for the classroom. My school actually ended up purchasing several of these off me to be used in labs. And that's where I really realized that it could be a, a product that I could sell. So I decided to make a more polished version that is more of a complete circuit board, not just individual components. And the reason for this is to make it as inexpensive as possible because individual components can be really expensive. So that's where the Kickstarter comes in. I have been working on these guys for a long time here and there, and I've actually had a finalized version for some time, but I haven't gotten around to doing the Kickstarter. Part of the reason is I was trying to find the cheapest suppliers and things like that and I wanted to make for sure that cost I was going to be selling them for was actually possible to do. Because a lot of Kickstarters, that's their main problem. They don't look into things like that. And they end up, end up failing. and uh, Or their company ends up failing after their first Kickstarter is a success anyways. So today I think I'm going to finish up and just finally post the Kickstarter, get it going, or at least try and get it approved. I've had the video done for a while. You can check it out here, somewhere around here, around my face. And yeah, I'm really excited to get it done. I, I've really wanted to get this done a long time ago, but being busy, that's how things go. So I'm not going to get into how the PityBot works and uh, what the PID loop is and everything like that. That's all explained in the Kickstarter video and I've got another PityBot video that isn't very great on my Idle Hands Dev account. So you can check those out through the links above and below. But today I just, I've always, I've talked about a number of projects that I've been working on and things that I have going on in the back of my head. This is one of them. So I just wanted to get that out there. It was a rainy day so I thought it'd be a good day to talk about it. So why not? So hopefully, if not today, then tomorrow I will be posting the Kickstarter for approval. And then it should just start and that will be awesome. I'm really excited to get that done. I'll slowly be going over all my small projects or my big projects in this vlog in more detail. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you should subscribe. It's the other side of me aside from the photography and the filming it's the electronics and the computers and the stuff like that that I also want to include in this vlog and I haven't been doing too much of so subscribe thumbs up and if you want to contribute to the PityBot Kickstarter that would be awesome anyways have a good evening be good